Within the Netbox Labs console, you can access the backups for your Netbox Cloud database, and from there, you are able to perform certain actions on them. You can view a list of all available database backups. You can take an on-demand backup at any time, download a specific backup file, and you can restore your Netbox Cloud instance from a database backup. To view a list of available database backups, firstly, log into the Netbox Labs console, and then click on the three dots in the top right corner of the instance you wish to manage and click Manage. Then simply scroll down to the Backup and Restore panel to view the list of available backups. The list displays the time the backup was taken, the name of the Netbox instance and version, plus the file size and the type of backup, which is either scheduled or on demand. If you need to take an on-demand database backup, then from within the Backup and Restore panel, click on the Backup Now button on the right hand side. Click continue to confirm that you want to back up the current version of Netbox Cloud. After a short while, you will see the on-demand backup you just created appear in the list of available backups. To download a local copy of a backup file, firstly locate the backup file you wish to retrieve and click on the download icon. The download will then be prepared for you. Once the backup file has been prepared, it will automatically be downloaded into the downloads directory on your local computer's file system. Note the file is a gzip compressed archive of the SQL database file, so it will end in .sql.gz. To demonstrate restoring your Netbox Cloud instance from a backup file, first of all, let's delete a device from Netbox. So if I switch to the Netbox UI and then select devices, you'll see that we have an access switch in our Sydney location and I will select that device and then delete it by clicking delete selected and then confirming the deletion by clicking delete one devices. Okay, great. So that's the Sydney switch deleted. Now, if I go back to the admin console, you can see we have the on-demand backup that I took a few minutes ago. And I will click on the restore button next to that file and then click continue to restore Netbox. Great, so I just need to wait a couple of minutes for the restore to complete. And once it has, I will be able to see it in the restore history by clicking on that. And here we can see our latest restore and the time it completed. So that's great. Now, if I go back to the Netbox UI, you can see that I've been logged out. So I will log back in and list the devices again. And you can now see that the access switch in Sydney is back in the list of devices as the database has been restored successfully. So I hope that's been a useful overview of how to work with Netbox Cloud database backups. As always, if you have any questions, then reach out to the Netbox Lab support team and we'll be happy to help.